Hello everyone, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to present our work in second WBDS LA conference. I am Abira Dev from Indian Science and Technology Foundation. The title of my work is Interactions Analysis Between FDA Approved Drugs and Biosalt Export Pump B-Safe Protein Using Molecular Docking. The objective of this work is to study affinities of different uh, compounds with B-Safe, which is a hepatic transporter protein using molecular docking. Now, what was the background and motivation to our approach? Now, we know that hepatic transporters play a key role in the uh, uptake clearance of many drugs from hepatic sinusoidal blood uh, and in the excretion of parent compounds and or our metabolites from hepatocytes into the bile or the systemic circulation. Alteration in activities of hepatic transporters due to drug-drug interaction, genetic polymorphism, and disease states can result in changes in pharmacokinetics of transporter substrate drugs, which subsequently influence their pharmacological or toxicological effects. You can go through figure one and two for better clarification. BCEP is an efflux transporter protein present in the hepatocytes membrane that plays important role in the flow of bile acid from hepatic cell, uh, hepatocyte cell into the bile canaliculi. Impaired BCEP activity due to drug interaction leads to accumulation of bile acid within the hepatocyte cells and results in uh, cholestasis liver injury, which is popularly known as drug-induced liver injury. Therefore, we, can, uh, we had studied affinities of chemical compounds with hepatic transporter B-safe protein using molecular docking. Now, this was the method of our work. Uh, the 3D structure of the B-safe protein was obtained from uh, RCSB databank. 6LR0 was the PDB code. Then the FD, uh, FDA approved compounds were selected from literature. Then the selected compounds were docked against B-safe uh, structure using PASHDOG and HADOG. Then the post-docking complexes were analyzed in order to evaluate the affinity of uh, these compounds with PCF. Now, uh, these were the compounds which were selected from literature. Uh, compounds which are marked with red had uh, higher affinity for BCEP. Compounds which are marked with orange had medium affinity for BCEP. And compounds which are marked with uh, green had uh, lowest affinity for BCEP. It was observed that compounds having lower IC50 value have greater interaction with the BCF protein and vice versa. Our docking study found that cyclosporin A, ceterolic acetate and vanillomycin produced um, higher affinities for BCF, which is in line with uh, experimental IC50. Uh, imatinib and rifabutin uh, produced medium affinity for BCF and omiprazole and testosterone produced um, lowest affinity for BCF. Now, therefore, we uh, using our molecular docking, we can say that compounds having lower IC50 value inhibits the activity of BCF protein, thereby leading to accumulation of bile acid within the hepatocyte cells and resulting in DLLI. BCF, uh, play, uh, now in conclusions, we can say BCF plays an important role uh, in the flow of bile acid from the hepatocyte cell into the bile canaliculi. And impaired activity of BCEP can lead to accumulation of bile acid within the hepatocyte cells and result in drug-induced liver injury. Molecular docking shows that cyclosporin A, ceterolic acetate, and palinomycin produced higher affinity for BCEP. Imatinib and rifabutin produced medium affinity for BCEP, while omiprazole and testosterone produced poor affinity for BCEP. Compounds having lower IC50 value have greater interaction with the BCEP protein and vice versa. Therefore, using the molecular docking, we can say that compounds having lower IC50 value inhibits the activity of BCEP protein, thereby leading to accumulation of bile acid within the hepatocyte cells and resulting in DLN. Our molecular docking uh, provides deep insight about the interaction of compounds with the BCEP protein. Therefore, we can say our molecular docking may be helpful to design in vitro experiments using BCEP in order to predict precisely the role of compounds in hepatotoxicity. Now, these were the uh, references of our work. Now, I would like to thank Inside Biosolutions France for uh, providing all the support. Inside Biosolution is a French company to provide in vitro uh, models and in silico solutions for product safety assessments. I'd also like to thank Indian Science and Technology Foundation for letting me work on this project and also this conference for letting me present my work. Um, you can go through our website for more details and contact us on our email address. Thank you so much.